Hey guys, John with you here, and this is a bitter cold morning here in Owen Sound. It is unbelievable. I mean, the heat's cranked up and everything, but I'm like, my desk is right next to a window, and I could just still feel that bitter cold emanating from uh, through the window pane. It's, it's insane. Um, what else is insane is I got an email from Ragbos this morning. So for those of you who are not in the know, Ragbos is the name of our local real estate board. And they had some pretty astounding stats to present. Uh, so for beginners, uh, the average price of homes sold in December 2021 was a record $882,000. So that's a jump, a jump of 48.5% from December 2020. Like, wow, like where do you begin with that? Like housing prices has, have jumped up by 50% in just one year. That's insane, like, woo. And then the other stat that um, is really grabbing at us right now is in December 2020, we had 21.4% more listings. So we are in quite a drought now, um, now that the holidays are over, we are starting to see some new listings coming up, but they're coming in slowly. So what does this mean for you if you're a real estate investor looking to uh, park your dollars up here in Owen Sound Gray Bruce? It means that uh, you will have to accept a higher cost for a lower cap rate. Um, it sucks, it really does, because a lot of cap rates here are really bad but there are some workarounds. For instance, uh, we are presently on a campaign right now to solicit listings from people who own multi multifamily buildings. And if they decide to list with us, one thing I will be advising those clients to do is to offer vendor take back mortgages if they don't have the best cap rates. And that is always something I do for buyer clients is if they're looking at a triplex or a duplex and the cap rate is really not that stellar, the first thing I always ask uh, the listing agent is if their client will accept a BTB. To be honest with you, I actually do that for all buildings, even if they've got like really good cap rates. But um, yeah, so vendor take backs are definitely one of the ways to go. It's one of the only uh, avenues that I see that will get the market going. Uh, we did a scan of a lot of the multifamilies here in Owen Sound, and a lot of them are owned by people who are of retirement age. So that is one prediction I do see is, I think a lot of multifamily homes will be hitting the market this year as opposed to other years. So a lot of people are gonna take advantage of this latest spike in prices, and they're gonna make their exit. Uh, another thing I predict is we're going to see even more Airbnbs popping up. Uh, this is always what I recommend. So when I see a single family home, I'm not the type of person, I, I would never say no to money. So if a young couple were to come to me and you want me to help them find a home, I'll do it, of course. I'm running a business here, but typically when I scan the market and I see uh, single family homes at a decent price, the first thing I do is I market it as a potential Airbnb. And I do believe we're gonna see a lot more of that, especially with uh, the landlord tenant board, it's the regulations. I have one colleague who has a, a vast portfolio of uh, holdings, rentals, and most of them were long-term rentals. And then he decided that as of this year, every time someone moves out of a long-term rental, he's just gonna convert it into an Airbnb. So I do see that being a sweeping trend. Um, We'll see what comes of that. We are in an election year now here in Owen Sound, so we will see just how much interference uh, City Council might try to run if they uh, start to notice this as a problem. Uh, speaking of City Council, I also want to advise you if you are planning to come up here to invest, they can be uh, remarkably closed-minded and invasive. Uh, I, I will try and find a link to this. It's kind of hard to find now. Uh, there was one gentleman who did a uh, duplex reconversion. So I believe a building started as a duplex, then it was converted to a single family home, and then his plan was to convert back into a duplex. It took him a staggering 18 months to get the job done. And it's all because of like how they do things at city council. So just be aware of that. Um, you will have some interference, at least this year. We'll see what happens with the election year. I, I, I'm part of a Facebook group uh, devoted to the town, and a lot of people are really fed up with uh, the nepotism and the corruption here. I'll put some uh, links in the show notes so that you can better 
understand just how bad things can get here. So that is it in a nutshell. If you're planning to invest here in Owen Sound this year, you will have to pay more, unfortunately, uh, for what you get in return. However, I'm here to help you in terms of trying to help you land a vendor take back, if that helps ease things a bit. And we can also come up with some creative financing options to uh, make this thing not so bad. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'll see you in the next one.